So we are ready. We have activated the API. We have created an API key and we have set a limitation to avoid to exceed 1000 requests per day. So now it's time to use the API. So how to do that? So I return to the navigation menu and go to library. Once again, I want to view all the API for maps and I select geocoding API. And if I scroll down a little bit under the pricing, I have documentation and I click on documentation. The documentation of the API opens in a new tab and we are going to find an example how to use this API in this section. Geocoding API request format and here we have two formats. JSON, the one is recommended, and XML. But in our case, we are going to use the XML format because we are going to use the function filter XML. So instead of the output format JSON, it will be XML. Then you go to geocoding response and there you have two examples, one in JSON and one in XML. And it's this one that I copy. And then I open a new tab and I paste. But for the moment it doesn't work just because I forgot to insert my API key. So I return to my console, credentials, I copy my API key and I paste it here. And immediately the API returns all these informations. And as you can see, there is a lot of information returned by the API. And at the middle of the list of data, I have here latitude and longitude. And that's exactly what I want to collect in my case. And now, how is built the API? Well, it's very simple, in fact. You have three different parts. You have here the first part of the API address equal at the beginning of the API. So we must keep this part as it is. After what we have here, it's the address. And that's exactly what I want to change. I want to change that by the information I have in my Excel workbook. And also at the end, I have a third part and the third part, it's my API key. And also I have to keep it like it is. So now let's see how I can use this API with my data in my workbook.